fights. Earlier on, you mentioned Billy Joe, and you feel that he has got you know some big fights in him. He was lined up to face Canelo. That fight was, by all accounts, due to be announced before lockdown and and everything that's going on at the minute. How do you think Billy Joe could fare against Canelo? This is good. Excuse me. Billy Joe's a top fight for me. It's on his day. Um, everyone knows that. But I just think, you know, I think Canelo's elite, you know what I mean? Billy, Billy Joe's world class. Canelo's elite. Um, so, I don't think Canelo would have much problems with him, to be fair. But I know Billy Joe, like you do, I know, I know myself personally, when you're involved in big fights, you, you know, you were, you raise your game and, you know, and I know that. But if the fight does happen, he'll put in a, he put in a top performer to do himself proud. But I just, like I said, I think Canelo's elite. So, I'd, um, I'd, I'd pick Canelo in that one. Another man who was mentioned to possibly face Canelo was Callum Smith. How do you think Callum would have fared instead? Obviously, a very different style to Billy Joe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. See, now that's more of that, that's a, a closer fight, in my opinion. Uh, a lot closer fight. Callum Smith, uh, 168, I don't think anybody beats him. I, I really don't. He's, you know, he, he, he's massive. He can box, he can punch. Um, I don't think anybody beats him at 168. But the only thing is, it's like, if they did fight him, it's what clauses Canelo would put in the contract. You know what I mean? Rehydration, cut the dead crafty how they do it, mate. Rehydration causes and stuff like that. You don't, so you, you don't know. But a guy met Canelo in in, um, in Belfast when Frampton fought that guy there. And I'm like, I, I was having him a bit like, you know what I mean? I'm a good bit taller than Canelo. And Callum Smith, that was me. So. I, I just don't know. I mean, look, listen, Canelo's come from whatever way he's come from, and he, he, he changed cover life. Yeah. Come on, what's going on there? You know what's going on. I think we all know what's going on. Do you know what I mean? But the, um, I, I don't think anybody beats Callum at 168. I, I, I really don't. Uh, but like I said, it's, it's the clause. It's how long uh, Callum can keep going on. That way, because he's a big, he, he's big. Honestly, he's, how he makes that way, I'll never know. But he's strong with it as well. It's not like he's raised in fights. You know what I mean? So it's how long he can stay in that way. Um, but like I said, it, it's whether there'll be any um, certain clauses in there that'll kind of, you know, weaken him. But it's kind of happened yet. But uh, but yeah, big goes fight if it does anyway. Obviously, just to move away from that and onto the heavyweight. It's a lot of talk at the minute about that potential undisputed title fight if we was to see Tyson Fury versus Anthony Joshua. If you had to hedge your bets, if you had to choose who would win, how do you think that fight would play out? I'd go Fury. Um, he's, he's on form at the minute. Uh, I don't think anybody beats him. Um, and what he did in his last fight, you know, I, I didn't expect that. Um, Unreal performance. Um, I, I just don't think anybody. I just don't think anybody beats him. And anyway, I really don't. Um, so yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd go with Fury on that one. I mean, I can, like I said, I don't really know boxing, so I can't be yeah. tell you how I think it would play out. But I didn't think Fury had stopped Wilder in his last fight. I just thought it'd be a point thing again. Um, so. I'd, I'd, I'd have gone for Fury on points, but like I said, I didn't expect him to do that so well during his last fight, so could, could most probably do it against Joshua. So just whilst we're on the heavyweight scene, the heavyweight's going to be linking up with you know Jamie Moore and the rest of you guys. Dave Allen, what do you make of Dave's move to move yeah. to, to your camp? Yeah, I think he'll go. I think he'll go well. Yeah, he's um, obviously he's, he's a character. Um, he's a few characters in. in Like, and, and 
Do you know what I mean? Because no, we're just all we're just all in the having the crack. I'm just working and grafting, and we're, we're, we're all on the same team. Do you know what I mean? Think anybody who had an ego just wouldn't wouldn't work in our gym, and he's not. So yeah, I'm, um, yeah, I think it's it's a, it's a good addition to uh, to the team. Martin, before I do let you leave and enjoy the rest of your day, as I have with everybody so far, what would you like to say to everyone who tunes in to watch our interview? No, what, what do you mean? Just any any advice in in these times, or you know, what what would you like to say to everybody? Just just stay positive, love your family, and stay positive, and do, just do good things. Do good things. Help somebody if you can. You know what I mean. Pick up that phone call message somebody, somebody you think struggling, you know, an older person or somebody with mental health, give them a phone call, share them up. I did it yesterday to, to a friend of mine and he sent me a me he sent me this lovely message and you know to me it was just a phone call. But to him it meant so much to him and I said, just just do that. Love your family. Help somebody if you can stay positive and just enjoy your life. You've only got one. Brilliantly put, Martin, and we will leave that there now. I appreciate you giving up some time today, and I hope you enjoy the rest of yours and stay safe with yourself and your family throughout the rest of this. And I'll hopefully see you soon. Thanks, Pete, to Boxing Social. So, man, you too. Pleasure talking to you, mate. Take care.